In this series video, we're gonna look at one final big topic from this unit and then do some AP questions. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at is something called the accumulation, accumulation of change formula. All right, so remember the fundamental theorem of calculus part two that says if I wanna find this area under f of x, I take its antiderivative and I plug in b and a, the bounds of my integral. All right, I can rearrange this equation and get another interesting fact. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add f of a over here. I'm going to get this formula. Just written in a little bit different way, it's going to look like this. All right, so I move the f of a over on the same side of the integral. And it says if I want to figure out my function value at b, I can take my function value at a and add the integral from a to b of its derivative. So in the previous one, the f's were capital F's, and the thing on the inside was uh, lowercase f, but now I kind of switch it around. Right, these are the original function f, and I take the integral of its derivative. So I can get between function values by adding the integral of its derivative. Right, so these are the type of questions you might see, and we'll do more of these in class. Right, we know that f of 1 equals 5, and that f prime of x equals x squared. What is the value of f of 4? All right, well, f of 4 is going to be equal to f of 1 plus the integral that's going to cover the distance between them. So I'm going to cover from 1 to 4 of its derivative. All right, so this is the accumulation of change formula. All right, to figure out f of 4, I take a function value and add the integral of the derivative that covers the difference between them. All right, f of 1 is 5. I run the integral from 1 to 4 of this derivative, which they told us is x squared. Right. So now let's just do this part to the side. Right, that way we don't get too messed up. So we're going to do the integral from 1 to 4 of x squared dx. The fundamental theorem of calculus says I take its antiderivative, and I evaluate it from 1 to 4. So if I plug in 4 first, minus when I plug in 1, I get 63 over 3. And that simplifies down to 21. All right, so this integral part is 21. So now my final answer, I started at 5. This integral turned about to be 21, so it accumulated a change of 21 over this amount of time. So f of 4 would have to be 26. All right, so this is the accumulation of change formula in work. It's not the craziest thing because it's just the fundamental theorem of calculus part two equation just rearranged in a slightly different way, but it is kind of a surprising fact that I can get between function values of my original function by adding the integral of its derivative. All right, kind of a weird thing, all right, but something that comes up and is always going to be brought up on the AP uh, exam.